Good morning, or depending when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio. So today, we're talking about a new set, and I'm genuinely delighted here, ladies and gentlemen, because I think, I think we done pretty good on predictions. Now, when I'm making predictions, I'm obviously I'm talking about makes a lovely Primal Luger over at Poker Guardian who helped out with this video as you know so often, giving brilliant information, etc. And it was pretty obvious predictions to make, but it doesn't really matter. Because the other day I told you about a couple of new trademarks filed in Japan, Blue Sky Stream and skyscraping perfect and we made predictions as to what those sets would probably be based around and now we've got a bunch of information and it seems like we done pretty gosh darn good ladies and gentlemen we done pretty gosh darn good and because we're talking about a new japanese set we will do at the end of the video as we often do here and do a uh, a little reminder of the schedule for Japan moving forward. Because every time I did one of these videos and forgot to include one of those, because I never used to in the past, I would get a deluge of messages going, wait, wait, wait. So what's coming out when? So we're going to talk about the new set for a little bit. I'm going to tell you what we know and make a few predictions. And then at the end of the video, we will go through the Japanese release schedule and I'll tell you all of the sets that we currently know about and roughly how they're going to translate over here. Because I care, ladies and gentlemen. I care. So let's not bury the lead. It looks an awful lot like Skyscraping Perfect is going to be based around Rayquaza. And Blue Sky Stream is going to be based around Duraludon. Well, yeah. They weren't terribly difficult predictions to make. And we did a prediction video before where we talked about this. But yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that in a second. What I do want to mention very, very, um, very obviously here... This is why we do videos about these trademarks when they're released. Every time these trademarks come out, I do a video on them. And I always get a few people going, oh, come on, Wossy, why are we looking at trademarks? This is why. Because like I say, I work with a bunch of people like Primal Lugia, Joe from Ceremony. We all have a chat about this. And it essentially, we, we, we tend to be pretty good at figuring out which ones are relevant and making some good predictions on them. So... What do we know? Well, the overview is this. They are Sword and Shield 7. Remember I previously told you about EV Heroes, which is Sword and Shield 6A? Well, this is the set afterwards. It is another double set. And there have been a lot of double sets lately. Remember Sword and Shield 6 over in Japan is being split into Silver Lance and Jet Black Poltergeist. We have started seeing some reveals from that set, but the full set is far from fully revealed at this stage. And we've got then EV Heroes, and then this is another double set coming along on the back of it. Which is kind of interesting. We don't always have double sets. There just seem to have been a few of them lately. We've got a release date here of the 9th of July 2021. And each of the sets is going to have 67 cards plus secret rares. Which gives us somewhere in the region of 150 cards-ish in the set. For anyone that's wondering how that compares, Jet Black, Poltergeist and Silver Lance have 70 cards plus secret rares. So it's basically the, the same. Just a tiny, tiny bit less. And of course, the lovely Antoine Boulet has come and been awesome as Antoine tends to be. And given us a little bit of a translation of the cell sheet that we've actually got here. So here's what we're told. New V Maxes with overwhelming power. These new V-Maxes have powerful attacks, allowing them to deal huge amounts of damage, as well as stats that will definitely make players want to build decks around them. These new cards are comparable to Eternatus V-Max in their ability to define the meta and drive conversations. And there is the title I put there as well, Meta Defining Power, Duraludon V-Max and Rayquaza V-Max. And bear in mind, in the Sword and Shield era, there are only really two cards that we can put in that level of conversation in terms of being that gosh darn good, and they are Zash and V and Eternatus. Seriously, name me one Pokemon that's come out since Eternatus that has been driving this level of conversation. Now there is a chance that Victini V Max becomes that Pokemon, but we are not there yet. The fact of the matter is, Eternatus, and yes, I know they've 
shown us some cards that look like Eternatus might be going away. But from basically when Eternatus came out until now, it has been a proper top tier deck. And we are being told by the card designers here that both of these cards, Duraludon and Rayquaza, are going to be comparable in terms of power. This is a heck of a statement to make, ladies and gentlemen, because Eternatus has been a proper meta-defining card. Now, we're also told that Duraludon is a single-strike Pokémon, while Rayquaza is a rapid-strike Pokémon. In conjunction with all the existing support for these archetypes, they are guaranteed to make for some frightening combos. So, firstly, that tells us that single and rapid strike really is here to stay. This is the second main set after they were introduced, third main set featuring them, and we're still going. And then, of course, we've got all of those things, so we don't really know what Duraludon does, but we know it's going to be able to use Houndoom to accelerate energy and single strike energy to do extra damage. And we know that Rayquaza is going to have rapid strike energy to find its way to attacking a little bit more quickly. We know these things because we've already seen these cards. Also, remember what I keep saying. These single and rapid strike staples, you need to pick them up now because if they're not reprinted, they might end up getting really expensive when great cars like this come out. Now, the other really cool thing we're told is, for the first time, enjoy double sets sealed battles. So I've told you it's a double set. Well, these sets have been designed with sealed battles in mind. Choose either of these sets to open packs from and build your sealed deck although no events have currently been decided or announced or revealed or whatever you want to say. So they're actually designed so you pick up a few packs of either of these sets and it's going to be easier to build a sealed deck. What that basically means is it's going to be, one would imagine, more trainers and they're going to split the typings. So there's only going to be water in Rapid Strike, which is going to be the Rayquaza set, not in the Duraludon set. So there's going to be water cards in Blue Sky Stream, but not in Skyscraping Perfect. So it's easier to build up your evolution lines in that regard. Which sounds awesome and kind of makes me want to pick up a box of each set and then grab the wife because you're under lockdown and no one else is allowed to come around and be like, wife, let's play some sealed Pokemon. And my wife is lovely. She will if I ask her to. Seriously, my wife is awesome probably why I married her to be honest. So that's what we know about the set as it stands. We know that we're getting these two Pokemon and that they are supposed to be proper job over the top good. We know we've got single strike and rapid strike back and we know that they are designed for sealed battles. It honestly sounds extremely interesting and I am um well hyped would be a, a polite way to put it. Do remember there was a prediction we made before and the lovely 2 new 1223 told us that Blue Sky Stream, the name, there were certain similarities to Clash of the Blue Sky, what we would call EX Deoxys over here. So we thought we were going to get Rayquaza. We are. But there is a chance we actually end up getting Deoxys in this set as well. Rayquaza being the real headliner. And then Deoxys kind of sliding in a little bit later we don't know is the honest answer ladies and gentlemen but it's gonna be kind of fun finding out so i did say we would finish the video having a little bit of a look at the upcoming release schedule because i know we talk about all the sets over here but every so often it does start becoming um well let's just say a little bit confusing. So in two days time on March 19th, we are having Matchless Fighters. That is Sword and Shield 5A. That is going to be part of our Chilling Rain set, which is currently scheduled for release on the 18th of June. So that sounds kind of cool. After that, we get that double set of Silver Lance and Jet Black Poltergeist I've been talking about. They are currently scheduled for release on April the 23rd. And again, those are going to be in our Chilling Rain set. So Chilling Rain is going to be an amount. It's our Sword and Shield 6. And it is going to be an amalgamation of Sword and Shield 5A and Sword and Shield 6 over in Japan. Then Japan is getting EV Heroes, which is Sword and Shield 6A on May the 28th. And although we don't know this for a fact, we don't know this, it is likely that this is going to be part of our Sword and Shield 7 set, 
The best information we have on this is an August the 27th release. We don't have a name or any information about it. But we think it's going to be an August the 27th release. There is a chance that because it's a special EV set, the Pokemon mix it up and do something special. But unless we're told anything else, assume it is going to be part of our Sword and Shield 7 set. And then the sets we've been talking about today will be Sword and Shield 7, which of course will be part of our Sword and Shield 7 on August the 27th. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's what's happening. That's what's coming up. That's what's exciting. As always, tell me what you think about these. Give me your predictions. Tell me how excited you are. Go nuts in the comment section, but be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcg radio if you want to support the channel get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff head on over to patreon.com slash ptcg radio where you can do exactly that but by far the most important thing as always look after yourselves till next time would you thank you very much for watching my name's ross and you've been watching ptcg radio